Yeah. Hang on, let's get it real. Hey, mate. <laughs> There'll be camera shine on back. Thank you. Nice, mate. Mm -hmm. Hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's gay. Hey? Troublemakers up the back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now our juniors, now our juniors, man. Oh, oh yeah. Same. Pull up a chair. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Well, I'm going to do this. Stand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were discussing uh, the shirts. Yes. So, that's our first uh, item. Right. Yeah. Agenda. Go ahead, please. So, you know that we're doing the uh, memberships. That $50 that we've already collected off some people mm -hmm. is going to go towards the membership and they get a free shirt. So, um, we want to start a database to see who's active, like active members, on, because there's, there's about 114 people on the group on the chat. So, we do have a lot of backbenchers, you know what I mean? So we want to start pushing the guys who are uh, keen. So we want to bring them forward. The active members, they'll be the ones who have paid for the membership. So we're going to have active members and then non-active members. Active members get free leave, like so the competitions, the uh, like and uh, social dives and stuff like that. Of course, we want to encourage other people to jump on board as well. You know, we just don't want back purchases. I'd love to see 140 people rock up to a social club, that would be insane. You know? So that's where we stand. Um, anyone in here, has there anyone in here that's already paid for a shirt? I've paid for one as well. Sorry. Stellati. How are you, mate? Good, good. You coming? All right, you want a live stream? Yeah. He's asking for money. We'll <laughs> yeah. Alright, give me a second, I'll see what I can do for so you. Just wait for the video, I'll put it right. later. Live stream. Live stream, that's a who he can do live streaming for us. He can watch on YouTube later. Right. Same, same. Same, same. Live stream, he can't live play stream. back. Salabs. There you go. Alright, you didn't get a ticket, did you? No, I didn't. This is a lucky ticket stand. <laughs> you probably win another bottle. There's a few things that we want to purchase. Um, so, you know, and plus once we start, we've got to pay for the barbecue and stuff like that to share with the other clubs as well. Um, so that's where, so we'll start putting that up on the group. We'll give you the club account number and we'll start collecting the database. So that way, uh, well, on track and, and keep on top of things. All right, any questions on that before we go ahead? We're all sweet on that? Has everyone seen the club shirt? No. The light blue with the triple SC on the cotton? No? Okay, no, no. we'll post it up. So the club shirt, like uh, Tariq was saying. It's a long sleeve cotton shirt, so it's really comfortable. So it's not. So you have going into autumn and winter. Um, yeah. but like thought it was saying that the the, the shirt uh, comes with 12 months membership in triple sc club and uh and we'll post up specific details on the on the uh, on the whatsapp hopefully all right are they in transit yeah they're in transit nice. now there's the man who can tell us about it now yeah. um that is the uh oh, no, no, no. hey good haircut where to go sugar I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> Come in. Yeah. Uh, that's the membership of shirts. Uh, Rama, just quickly, the shirts are in transit? Uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, nice. Awesome. awesome. So we've just let everyone know about the uh, what we're doing, the $50 membership, 12 months. Yeah. And we'll probably kick that off at a set date and stop it at a set date. And then that way, we'll go, instead of having everyone at a different date, it just gets too much to keep track of. Um, that being that, next week, next item is uh, next week's uh, competition slash camp. Okay. All right. Done. That's the big fish competition, the Hunt Master big fish competition. Oh yeah. Yeah. Big prizes, guys. There's big prizes up. Uh, did you put you posted up the, the rules and stuff like that? 
So there's uh, over thirteen thousand dollars in cash prizes, man. That's like no one's done that ever, ever in spearfishing. You know, so I think first prize for the open the men's is a thousand dollars, I think. Seven thousand. Yeah. No, no, it's a thousand dollars. And then you got the women's is a there's a women's one. It's about five hundred dollars. And then the men's ones and the other ones are like two hundred dollars. You know, cash prizes. You know, but this is a good top. Now, um, guys, we need we're we're one of the main. We're going to be running it on the day, so we're going to need some volunteers after that everyone starts to come back. So, so we need people to put their hand up and say, "All right." The guys on the barbecues on the Friday. I'm arriving Friday night. Now we've got to be set up by 6 a.m. the next day. I might start setting up on Friday night when I get there. So I'm going to drop off my family, then I'm going to head down to where we're going to be setting up, and we can just probably start setting up. Or I'll just arrive there at 4:30 a.m. or 5 a.m. the next day. I'd probably rather do that. Really. Two day con? It's not. It's one day. We're diving on the Saturday. Presentations on the Sunday. So we're diving on the Saturday, presentation is on the Sunday. Okay. Um, the, if, who look, who's seen the rules for the competition on the group, on the WhatsApp group? Post it again. Yeah, we'll, post have to, we'll post that again, we'll get that post again. Who is on the WhatsApp, who isn't on the WhatsApp group, sorry? Anyone here not on the WhatsApp Anyone group? Anyone here who's not on the WhatsApp group? No. All right, so I'll get your numbers after and we'll add you to the group. Hey, travel mate. He just came for the food. <laughs> yeah. So if you're so you many tears on the day, not allowed. Um, so um Surya. So it looks pretty much the setup and the uh, barbecue. Yeah, so it's the setup and the barbecue. Um, uh, pretty much that's what it is. You pack most of the stuff, we're gonna you chuck them in the trailer. I need someone to tow a trailer up, possibly. So, we're gonna have to talk oh, about, talk that. about that. All right, so just chuck everything in the trailer and we'll take it up. I've left the trailer at home. Box, can't you? Yeah, it's a box trailer. And it's got even the awnings on the side we can take advantage of. Nice. All right. Oh. All right, beautiful. Um, anyone want to know anything about the competition? So, if you look, you're not necessarily to have a boat, but if you have a boat and you can bring it up and we can take people on, you know, it just gives you access to more grounds to cover. You know, we've got a lot of juniors and stuff like that. Guys, there's uh, some amazing rock hopping places. You're going to be rock hopping yourself, Ibrahim. All right, so even if we're not going to be um, I'd say like every him knows a few spots. It is an individual comp. It's the biggest fish you can catch. You know, so and it's species. So collect as much species as you can, and it's the biggest size. Is that correct? So there's two different competitions within the same comp. Yep. Um, one of them is collecting the most like, fish, and there's obviously a small chart that you can check up on the Hamas so yeah. website. Yep. All that even website, the small sheet is there, and then from those fish that you catch. The biggest fish goes to oh, another towards the, uh, competition. the biggest fish comes. Okay. Uh, okay. So all the details are on the website, Hamas website. You can just go in, straight away, events and courses, you'll see it all there. That's the Nelson Bay one. That's the Nelson Bay one. Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Mandela! Mandela. Alright, so that's uh, that. Um, the point system, the, the second comp, you know that, it's a point system. Guys, so it's uh, species. So you've got to collect from the list as much pieces as you can. It's 100 points per fish and is it 10 points a kilo? Yes, uh, it has a limit. So, so the max yeah. you can go is by a certain weight. Yeah, yeah, so it is limited off. By, is all the, so the skill comes down to how many fish you can get, you know? And the biggest fish out of your catch goes towards the big, big fish comp. All right, and there is also a meritorious fish, so... Yeah, so there's so, some fish that have like little asterisks on it which yep. are worth Scale All right. Yeah, yeah, and there were so that's a, and there's a price for that. I think that was at five hundred dollars or something like that. Yeah, yeah and that's a big price for a fish that's wow. not on the list, man. Which wow. is yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a big turnout, man. 
So, and Nelson's Bay is filled with a lot of good diving places, man. So a lot of, a lot of them you can access by rock. Um, if you need, uh, if anyone needs to know spots or anything like that, do you, do you have your spots up there? I don't Yeah. All right. So look, uh, one of the main spots I like, I'd be going if I was rock hopping would be uh, Little Rocky and Big Rocky. We'll put them up on the one time. It's a dirt road. You drive all the way down, park the car, and it's about five minute. How long was it? About five minute walk, wasn't it? Yeah, about five ten downhill. Five, ten Just remember, you got to walk back up the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so. forget the back up the hill. Yeah. All right. So you walk all the way down to the water. I forget. There's an island and there's water in between. In the shallows there, yeah, so in the shallows there, I've seen brims like that in knee high water. You know? So that's a just by itself, that's a very good spot. And you just swim all the way up and it's just all reef. The whole place is all reef. You know, you can swim all the way to the point and there's another little bombing off the island, which is very. It's good. very, very nice. If you've never been to Little Big Rocky, uh, they're very nice spots. Um, I think I've got a video, I'll probably put up if I can find it. Yeah. Uh, it's got a, a nice shallow area for beginners, and then it kind of drops off to 10 meters again, but in a pool-like situation. There's another little pool, so it's 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 phenomenal. It's yeah, really yeah, it's nice. It's diving, crystal man. clear water, I mean, on well, most when days. When I was there, yeah. Yeah. It's so really nice. Uh, I've got to see uh, Conditions are... Sand, grass, rocks, scratch. everything. It's got everything. Sand beds, uh, flatheads. I saw a, what, what, what was there, a resident? Wobbegong, wasn't there a Wobbegong? Oh, there's plenty of Nice big Wobbegong. Lobsters. That was a fun time. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, big Rocky. Big Rocky. <laughs> Little Rocky, Big Rocky. Nelson's it's in Bay. Nelson's Bay. It's nice. All right. So we do need uh, hands. So uh, look, I'd like to collect a show of hands, whoever's coming up, who can uh, help on the day. I can take your names down. And, uh, you know, and when it gets to the day, you know, I'll allocate people a task and then when we come back in for the weigh-in we're going all gangbusters you know what I mean so we all need to be hands-on we need people on the barbecues there's going to be a hunt master stand so we need people to man, man the hunt master stand um, you know and just with the weigh-in you know so we've got to create an area where no one's allowed to enter when you come back from your dive you put your fish in this section so your fish have to be in the weigh-in area at a certain time. Deadline. Yeah, the deadline. So it's this weekend, huh? Next weekend. Oh, uh, next. Yeah. Never mind. Next weekend, yeah, four, yeah, fifty. So I'm arriving. I'm, I'll be leaving here Friday night. Friday after work, so uh, I'll be there Friday night. So I'll probably either set up early that morning. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I don't want to leave anything overnight there. So. Is there registration fee? Um, there, there is, what's yeah. the registration so, fee? So you've got to be AUF active, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. you've got to be, well, if you're not an AUF financial member, then the fee is $80 for over 18, $40 for under 18. If you want, and that comes with a six month AUF membership. If, you're, if you are an AUF financial member, then it's $30 for over 18 and $20 for under 18. Okay. All right, easy. So if you're AUF, so, so just think that that's pretty cheap too, incorporates the fee. And you can pay on the months. website as well, the Alvastle website. Alright. So you jump so on there, you see the event, you can pay through there. And you register. All right, and we had, uh, look at, uh, are we going to be doing registrations on the day? Sorry, are we going to be doing the day you were Yeah, yeah, we want to try and avoid that. Just we don't want, we don't, because you, you can imagine if a lot of people come down, and they just start filling out registration if forms on the day. Yeah, I know, but I think it will still be a nightmare. If we got to try and register before you go down, trust me, you don't want that headache over there. On the day. On the day. You got to also let everybody know that that's happening, so it's probably going to be really difficult. Yeah, so if that's going to happen, happen then we're going to have to be prepared and have guys ready to man that as well. You know what I mean? I think you went for something after that. Yeah, they, they were, but the, the, we're, we're helping. We're one of the main. So I think Tyrone, uh, sorry, um, is going to have his guys. They're going to gonna be on that stand. All right. So we, yeah, all right. So but let's register beforehand. We don't want to put ourselves in a position. You know what I mean? To come down and register. We'll register beforehand. Pay your fee, and that's it. You know, you're entered and you're ready to go. Um, so what I want to do is take a list. Of names. Alright. 
who can volunteer on the day. All right, here we go. Who's going to help on the day? What else we got? Yeah, I think that's hard. What was your name again? Hold on. Gee, don't do that. Here you go. Just helping out. What's your name? Put my name in brackets. Just uh, pending uh, the Minister of Internal Affairs approval. <laughs> oh, yeah, Internal Affairs? Yeah, just put brackets, Mohammed, Internal Affairs <coughs> Minister. Pending. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to do this all the way he's going to volunteer too. Lol, do it for time. <laughs> <laughs> do it? I'm putting your name down. Hold on. You know when your name goes down there? Let's you're locked in. Otherwise, you've got to have brackets. He was smart. You've got to have brackets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Alright, we'll see, we'll try, we'll see how many more we can get, we'll put it up on the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, man, if you, if you can make it, definitely, man, look, just uh, anything small, you know, it's just helping out on the day. You know, yeah, most of the staff now, we've got people to be in like, We just need as much help as we can get. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, 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 the barbecue will uh, we'll definitely get guys on that. Oh, yeah, I know what you want, you want to eat. <laughs> You can't, the barbecue's the best. That's the only thing I can do. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Awesome. Well, really is well, and, yes. and we'll show like, Adrian now that we're hopeful we've got people helping nah, us. Well, look, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because really, they're running the comp, we're just helping them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just want to put in our, just uh, <coughs> give our presence, show our presence as well, you know? All right. We'll, we'll put it up on the group, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure we'll get more guys on the day, and we'll see how we go. Um, that, that is the, uh, all right, okay, guys, another thing we want to talk about, which is, uh, important, and, uh, we just, I want to clarify a few things, and, uh, make, make things clear for, for us, you know what I mean? Uh, Hun Master is the club sponsor, okay, so... What they give, so like Lucky Day sponsor us here with Lucky Door prizes, competitions like this for us. You know, no other club is getting this type of support from them. You know, so what we, the what I do when I saw my year, that's that's totally separate to uh, Hunt Master sponsorship. Okay, so that's uh, purely that's my personal uh, what's the name business. You know what I mean? I've pulled back from. Uh, doing that because our master's jumped on board and we want to keep them uh, around for us for that reason um, which we're truly grateful for only thing they expect from us is when we have an event like this obviously we're doing events like this for hunt master yeah so obviously so we yeah. can push get steroids and like you know what i mean yeah yeah don't We've got big things planned coming up yeah, as well. Inshallah. You know what I mean? Inshallah. Yeah. So, so trust so me, City Spirit is going to be a part of it because we get so much people that are knocking on our door for us to sponsor them and we're telling them no. We're, we're, at the moment, we're only sponsoring uh, City Spirit. I mean, Why? every day people are coming, every day people want us to sponsor them. We don't sponsor them all. Why would you knock back sponsors? At the moment, we're not ready for it. You know I mean? So we can't do it. I think uh, even the last, the last, the last. What's called that? We didn't do anything for that. They went. They organised their own banners. Just what? Just what I mean? Because we 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 gave them gift vouchers and stuff. You know what I mean? So so, so, so what? So what? Handlast is expected. And guys, anyway, Lai is uh, what's her name? Lai, you know, he's part of the Handmaster team. He does a lot of the admin side of the. Teka, Teka, yeah, yeah. Technicality. Teka. Yeah, so look, pretty much all they're asking from Sydney Spiros and you know, is when the event like that is on, we're out there supporting them and like helping the competition to help that run. And it's always been Sydney Spiros and Hunt Master since day one. Yeah. It's never been anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, now that they've, uh, you know, because yeah. it's been like guys, over, I'm telling you, it's behind the scenes and I've been with the guys and working on things. It's taken us four years. 
It's taken four years. And all these little comments like, oh, Hunt Mustard, she's so dead here, that's all bullshit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, we don't make, we don't make anything out of this. Yeah. This is not to make money, it's to get people out there, get people scaring, to encourage people to do things. But the amount of money that we've put into Hunt Mustard, we're never going to get it back. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's all we're right, that, That's all. Uh, uh, and look, for their contribution, it's. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I have no worries, guys, and putting up on our social pages and stuff like that. You know what I mean? As for something small, they're not asking anything big of us, you know. Come, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Chegan. Huh? Chegan. <laughs> so, we'll organize that. Who else? So, we've got an extra one. So, there's 11. Who else is going to eat? That's come in. New. 11. 11. I'm starving. All right. 11. I'm going to eat All right. So, there's 11 of us. Yeah. Then make the order? Yeah, yeah, make the order. Okay. And then we'll get that sorted. All right. Guys, uh, anything else on that? I mean, uh, just uh, I just want to keep things clear, you know, with that. As well, do you want to touch base on, like, on the chats in the group? What should we say in the group and what should we do? Yeah, all right, look, uh, we, it's getting on with 114 people, yeah? <laughs> it gets out of hand like that. All right, guys. It, Anything we want to try and minimize things, you know. We want to try and minimize um, any arguments or anything, any, anything you got with anyone on the group or anything like that, guys. There is admin, talk to us. We don't want to flood the page with uh, what's her name, you know. Otherwise, people will be breaking out popcorn and sitting down, you know what I mean. And we don't want people to be fat and overweight because you can't die properly, you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, yeah, go for it. Is the, is the club registered yet? Uh, it, it is in the process now. So it hasn't been registered as a non-for-profit yet, but it is getting registered as we're speaking. So we've ha allocated a task to someone. That person couldn't, due to, couldn't finish it due to family, family commitments. But we are, what's that? But there is an account which is designated. Guys, I will be... Every club meeting from uh, next next club meeting, we'll be put. We'll be talking about guys. This is how much we have in the account. This is where we spent the money. So everything's transparent, and you guys can see where the money's going and what we're doing with it. You know, I think we know other clubs own houses, man. There's like uh, the Newcastle Neptunes. I think they own a house, man. Yeah, they've got an investment property. They've got an investment they've property. The club, like they've been around for like 50, 60 years. You know how what I mean? So how do they get money? They got their club memberships. I don't know what else they do. I'm probably pretty sure they do raffles and stuff like that. We ordered food, yeah? We ordered food. What is they do fundraisers. Fundraisers. Sponsorships. They, they're active. I mean, we're in the early all, stages. All their members are very, very active. Yeah, for, for, for everyone who doesn't know what a non-for-profit non organization means, it means anything that the company makes or from selling whatever it is, memberships, uh, raffles, on the day, uh, prizes. Prize it, whatever it may be, goes back into the club itself. So no one physically takes the money, yeah, yeah. and that's what the, the transparency is about. Even these, all these doors, how much does it go back? Yeah. yeah, all so these go back to the club. So not for profit. Back for you. Can you not profit me? So anyone that thinks how much makes money out of this, we don't make anything out of it. So how, how do they sell their suits? Uh, that's private. That's, that's private. So what they have on their website. So how can we help them and how they can help us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, support. So look, if we, we help by by sponsoring Hamaster, giving these door prizes. So if you want to buy in their gear, oh, so how can we help? Yeah. So we said we're, 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 we're going to sponsor you, Hamaster Spirits, and in return, when we do the obviously these events that we're sponsoring, it's for Hamaster Spirits. Just show so we up. Just need volunteers. Show up, hands up. People on the barbecue. Show up, hands up. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Pretty much. You know. And that's pretty much what it is. You know. Look, I, I think that's something very oh, small. Sydney Spirits mentioned as hosting the comp. Yeah, yeah, that's on there. We're not hosting. We're not hosting. We're we're part of the running behind it. So we're not a host of the comp because the comp is run by AUF. It's not even our comp. It's yeah. AUF comp. Yeah. Uh, we're AUF club. We're AUF club. So uh, because uh, what's it called? The uh, Neptune. They were sponsored. Uh, you know, sponsored by this club, and they sort of run the show. So yeah, yeah. They, so so Newcastle Neptunes. So this is a this is. It's not a we just sponsor them. We just gave them. You're just giving them. They're putting their contribution out. is the money. The prizes. Our the contribution prizes. is <coughs> is the help. Is helping is the help. Volunteering for the for that competition, which will put so us all on the, the map. All the money that goes into the 
Yeah, yeah. And this is our opportunity with the with the big turnout. This is our opportunity to show who we are. Triple S C. We're going to be heard. We're going to pick. Can we ask them? Say we want to sponsor the comp as well because they're our sponsor. Our sponsor. Yeah, we're we're on there as well. Our sponsor is physical health. It's physical health. Our, our input's going to be our help so that, yeah, volunteering on the day. Yeah, so that's our, our contribution on the day. We got, and we have to provide the marquee. We've already got the, our marquee, the Sydney Spiros marquee. Barbecues, etc. Barbecues. So it's pretty much, look, they're going to be looking at us. So I've spoken with uh, Adrian, Wayne, and uh, Dallas Davis from uh, Newcastle Neptunes. Tell them, guys, we've got the barbecue. We're all sorted. They go, all right, so... You're gonna need help to come and set up and stuff. They get they've helped out in uh, getting some scales, so they're getting scales and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just need to organise the the food and all that stuff. So we're all the but think, yes, um, is, uh, Dallas is bringing some heavyweights, like some of these guys are national. Champions. Of course, they're all gonna come down. The big There's prizes, big money. money, man. Yeah, yeah. So Bro, you're gonna get. Uh, I'm surprised you're gonna get the. All, all some big names. Guys, it's definitely a good competition to come down to. There's got I think there's going to be a huge turnout. Well to pick some of these guys' brains in, you know? Yeah, 100%. Guys you know, like, guys, get in, mingle yeah. with the Dallas guys. Did say that he's going to, I did mention to, to, you know, tell the guys to spend some time with the newbies and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He said he was going to definitely pass Even if you come down yeah. for the day. Yeah. Guys, come bring your families, come down for the day. You know? Uh, dead set, you know, because there's, there's going to be some good divers there. See what it's all about. This is an experience. Stuff well. Yeah, hundred percent. There's gonna be good divers picking up. I think it's gonna be a huge turnout. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. yeah. With the amount, with the Mate, money. There's on the gonna price. be outside that boat ramp. There's gonna be at least 50, well, 60 boats. Goes. I'm telling you. Uh, major this is Australia's biggest one that yeah. yeah, this is the biggest competition held. So we want to be at the forefront of that. We want to come out and say, hey, look, we're we're a new club. We're here. And this is what we're doing. We want to run and, and just you know, run the event. It's just gonna be. Uh, you know, a good thing, you know, this is what we want to do. Practice breath holds on Friday. Yeah. yeah. Deep. In. All right. So just, yeah. for, just, like, just like you, this is our first event with sponsor as well. So it's all a learning curve for we're us. We're all learning, you know what I mean? We're all learning together. Nice. So, it's not like we've done it before. Yeah, well, I think Rahma might know. You know, Rahma, when the other clubs sponsor an event, they collect money on the door, yeah? Like they collect... No, I'll tell you what they do, Mohammed. So yeah, when, you see a, when you see a club and then you see all the names of different things, the club, the person holding the competition will go to a uh, retail, uh, wholesaler, a manufacturer like uh, Han Master. They'll go to Aimright. They'll go to Rob Allen and stuff like that. And they go, look, we've got this competition. What would you like to put we'll in? We'll put your name on the banner. What are you going to put in? That's how they all work. But you know when you have to pay to enter the club. Yeah. Say. The thirty dollars, yeah. The club collects their share, and the AUF takes their share. No, remember, uh, the, remember the, uh, no, the other one, yeah, that, but that's their personal comp. They do collect uh, money. That's, what that's I'm a personal yeah, yeah, comp. Yeah. This is an AUF. Comp. No, yeah, this no, is an AUF comp. I know it was an AUF. No, no they, it they, is an AUF. They were Newcastle Neptunes. But you have to be AUF to. You have to be AUF, AUF member. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. AUF is an insurance body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're underwater scooping posts, so you've got to be part of AUF. You've got to be part of it, no matter what you do. Because the AUF is, uh, look, it's uh, like a, an insurance. Oh, that one on the weekend, wasn't that? What, who was that? The team. Yeah, we're going to get what, to that. What club was that? That no, it wasn't. That was uh, the Hunt Master competition, the team competition. So that is for the clubs in the Taylor Shield and the AUF. So that's the team competition. Which is what we'll get to, which brings us up to that. Guys, we're clear on that. Everyone's sweet. Anything that anyone needs, you know, any concerns, we're here, guys, you know. Um, How many chickens did I order last time? I don't remember. Too many. Just tell him we got 11 people. Okay. And then he'll work it out. Okay. Um, so anything you need, uh, what's the name? Uh, if you're going to plan a trip, you know, yeah, I'm going on the weekend. Message them privately. Let's just try and cut down the uh, what's the name on the chat, as it could it gets flooded straight away. I mean, I, I'm not. I've got to try and do it as well, you know. Especially when there's a rock kale up on there, I can't help myself, you know. So very good. <laughs> very good. I got some great recipes for rock kale. Yeah. Eleven. So, uh, which brings us to the next point, guys. Um, we had uh, two teams enter the uh, team competition. 
uh, last weekend, and uh, you were on one boat. No, let's do. Uh, Austin was on boat, and Nick was so on the other boat. And chips and um, <laughs> yeah, so this is why I'll, I'll, I'll take it over to Nick now and oh, just tell us how the thing. event was on the day, and uh, how what you guys time? went and what you learned, oh, yeah, please. and stuff like that. Cool guys, so we had uh, the team comp on Sunday. I'll, I'll uh, there was 18 teams uh, involved in the comp. Uh, most of them had boats. Hopefully there's only like one rock hopper team uh, for the day. So there was a rock hopper team? There was one rock hopper couple yeah. team. And they did better than us. Uh, <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you're on a boat or if you're rock hopping, you can still do well on a comp. Especially if you're new and you don't know the area like our team was. All right, so we had two teams. You guys did awesome, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, think so. I saw the scorecard. What is the odds? There were 18 teams, and we're in 18th place. And you know what? It doesn't matter because we have three more comps, or two more comps coming up after this. So, you know, a lot of guys caught all the fish that they could catch and, and weighed in all three fish from each species on the first comp, which means the next comp, they got to be really picky on what they get because they can't weigh anything. Um, we had a couple of issues with our boat um, and some gear issues that we learned from. Um, we went out on the boat. I'm a scuba diver. Generally, when you go out on a, a scuba diving trip on a boat, you bring extra stuff. We didn't really bring extra gear with us this time, but it was also all of our first time going out on a spear fishing competition uh, on a boat. So we learned straight away. Omar's Dyneema broke, so he couldn't even fire, he couldn't even load his gun anymore. Is, is that what you call it, Dyneema? <laughs> Dyneema <laughs> yeah, like, oh, that yeah. snapped. Is your gun? I'll go to it. So, and, and it's one of those things too, that snaps. You can't use that gun anymore because we didn't have anything to fix it with. Yeah. Um, I had Dyneema, but it was one of those like, what, we don't have everything. Yeah, I, have the... um, I had an extra gun in my car. I could have brought it on the boat. It's one of those things. Bring extra guns. Uh, we had Joe. He forgot his snorkel. <laughs> so he forgot his snorkel, and then he borrowed Fatty's snorkel, and he broke it. Oh. And he didn't just break it; he broke it and dropped it and lost it. So, so then we had two divers down. Two hours into the comp, our sounder went, and we didn't have a sounder, so we couldn't find out the depth. We didn't know where we were. We had to bust out an avionics on our phone to find out exactly where yeah. we were. That's time wasting. So it's, it's time wasting time. So it's time wasting. Time wasting. So you realize that there is a lot of things. I'm first king. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you know we had we had some issues. Um, we didn't shoot as many fish as we'd like to, but we still had a really good time out there together. Um, we rented a boat together. It saved us a bunch of money um, just doing it as a team. Um, I saw the pictures, that was a pretty cool boat. Yeah, it was yeah, a nice yeah. boat. That, that, For a higher boat, boat, that's a cool boat. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a good good idea. For guys that don't have boats, just call up that company. I think they service uh they they service Jarvis Bay, Nelson's Bay. Nice. Um they haven't got back to me about Aladulla. Okay. But it's a short drive, I'm sure they can yeah. just drive it down to fifteen minutes park it. And and that sort of say they drop the boat in, they take it out for you, they fill it up with petrol. We got a seven-seater boat, five fifty. Nice. Uh, for how many hours? From six in the morning to four p.m. Wow. We we just call them up, pick it up at two. We don't need it anymore. That's peanuts. Between seven people, five fifty. That's less than hundred bucks. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's less than petrol. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. That's really. That's a no-brainer, mate. That's five fifty. Sounder cut out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Pick up trucks. Yeah, that's a very valuable lesson for guys, you know, like when you're going out. This is the only way to learn. It's not important where you come and how much you shoot. It's important what you learn and how can I improve on next time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So we know the next comp where it is. So you know what your team is going to be doing? You're going to be going there and scouting. Revenge. So if you go there and just scout the area, you so know. So we have six months to go to the yeah. next spot, yeah, yeah, but you, we can still go to the next spot with but you know, six months over yeah. and over again and find yeah. our spots, find what we want to do. We didn't have, we didn't have an experienced person with us for the Jervis Bay yeah. trip. I, I heard that Fatty told me that everyone was on long nose. Uh, every, <laughs> yeah, everyone at first was yeah. on long nose so that's and everybody cut, everybody cut right and went south 
for an hour and a half so they could fish for an hour and drive back an hour and a half. Wow. So everybody that caught tons of fish were only in the water for like an hour and a half. Yeah. 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 Wow. But they went to the spot that they knew they where they fish. would get the fish. It's not a good idea. Yeah. Okay, but it's not a good idea. Because what happened, uh, we went to Cape Beach. So basically we launched uh, our boat <coughs> from Sussex Inlet. Sussex Inlet. Oh, so you actually drive further down. Yes. And what happened, we thought the competition would finish at 1 o'clock. But guess what? We arrived at 1.30 thinking that we lost the competition. Wow. But someone told us that they extended uh, the competition to 2 o'clock. Yeah. So we were lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got in that too. So it's always double check your time. Oh, you, you had something. You guys, uh, your, na nav your car nav took you the wrong way. Oh, yeah. 100%. So look, there's another issue. Even though they got fish, you know what I mean? But, so this is, this is, remember when I told you is when you get to your spot, time how long it takes you. Yeah, because you know that I've got this much time to get back. Yes. Professional divers are there on the minute. Yeah. They're like they're five, ten minutes before they're there and they put their gear on. Within five minutes, they maximize their time on the water. You yeah. Do some time yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, there's lessons learned. By the time we get to the next team comp, we'll definitely, you know, hopefully I'll be able to come down and even if I boat it for you now. I don't know the rules for it. I'll have to check. Can you add divers or can you take divers off? Well, I'll find that out, and then that way, you know, like, uh, if not, I'll just come and boaty for some of you as, as well, you know. It shouldn't be a problem, you know. Um, and we've got there's plenty of good diving down in uh, Balambi, so there's a lot of good, a lot of good, that's your, your home, your background, yeah, you need, your you backyard. Need, you need that local knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. Actually, there's two needs uh, points. I mean, what we're going to do, basically, if we, a couple of things we're going to go to Balambi, we're going to explore the uh, yeah. area. I think that's a good idea for you guys as yeah, well. Definitely. Maybe I can add something to you know the location of any place. If you go to Google Earth Optional, that software, like explore the area. If you go, uh, there is in a, you can go uh, in the history, like they take pictures every certain of time. So just like have a look on it and see where the rocks are and where it's a clear, like you can see, yeah, they yeah. have clear pictures. And it, mm -hmm. it's uh, Google Earth, uh, the, the professional. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the normal. Not the free one. Yeah, it's talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> well, maybe Navionics as well. Navionics uh, software. Yeah, Navionics gives you the depth and stuff yeah. like that as well. So, so that's what we were going off. Basically, we lost our sounder. And I'm a diver. I'm a scuba diver. So I, I've worked in the Caribbean for years. I worked in Southeast Asia for years. So I know, like, if I get to a point, generally at that point is where the current's got to run past the point and all the fish are gonna be on the front side of that current, generally. So we went to a, lot, a couple points. We dropped in, but we didn't see that much. And you know why? It's because everybody else drops in on that, that exact same point. So when they go fishing all the time, all the fishermen fish on those points. But also the visible yeah. choppy weather, we had wind, we had current. So you never know, like, there's all these different factors. But that's when you get people that go out on the boats regularly and they find their spots. You can watch any video on YouTube of people saying they found a honey hole, you know what I mean? They just go out somewhere and they see a reef at 22 meters. So they drop anchor and they jump in and they find amazing stuff. Mm. And that's because it's a random spot that nobody just goes to all the time. Mm. Um, so we're, we, we learned a lot of stuff this week. We learned what to, what to bring, what to not forget to bring, what we don't necessarily need to bring with us. Well, yeah, Did you guys put it up Huh? That's what yeah. I was about to say. We, we, we brought some, yeah, we brought some Berlin stuff. I didn't do enough. We didn't do enough. enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, what you have in your pocket, you know, so you have to drive back for your wife. Yeah, I left my key in my pocket. It's my fault. Uh, we were at the front of the boat line. We get calls on the radio, and then we got people yelling at us. Hey, your key, your wife. I'm like, oh. <laughs> we had to turn around by the time we came back up. Love the yeah, gone. Yeah, everybody was gone. Uh, so, learning curve. Right, you know, learning it's curve. simple little things like that. Just be prepared before the comp. Um, that you have everything sorted out. Um, but at the end of the day, it was really interesting. If you, if you haven't done a comp before, there's everybody's weighing their fish. There's tons of fish. There's tons of people all excited. Everybody's really friendly, and there's a friendly competition vibe going on too. Everybody's talking a little bit of shit. Like it's fun. So. And you get to see a bunch of fish that maybe you haven't seen before. I got to see a dusky morwalk. I've never seen a dusky morwalk before, and it was awesome. Yeah, but 
That's a cool yeah. fish, like I've never seen this before. Just a uh, show of hands, who participated in the comp on the weekend? Anyone? Two, three, four. four. And we had, we had many more that aren't here yeah. today, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So. Well, Triple uh, SC would like to say thank you. So a round of applause for all those. <laughs> for your participation in the comp and getting out there. So well, well done. Well done, man. It's a yeah. good achievement, man, just getting out there. And uh, I, I've seen the weather conditions. They were... They were pretty bad. They were pretty bad, you know? Very rough. It's, uh, it uh, takes a lot of effort. But you know what? That's how you grow. Yeah, great time. Yeah, that's how you're going to get better, better at diving. Nice. Definitely. All right. Um, uh, what are we doing for? Are you going to pick up the food? Food's ready. I've just got some. Do you want to hold for me? All right. Uh, uh, how much did you say? How much is it? Um, yes, yeah, 70 bucks. Se all together? Yeah. Oh, two, yeah family, two family packs. Two family packs? 16 pieces. Cheers. Out of the whole shebang. The whole shebang. All right. So, how many of us are eating? Put your hands up again. Do we count? So 10 bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Uh, does it, if you got drinks, does it come with drinks? If it yeah. doesn't, it's fine. It's done. It's ridiculous. That should be the photo call. I know. These guys are nuts. But look, from one extreme to the other. <laughs> How many people need this, huh? Yeah, but I've got your back. <laughs> That's for the competition, the photo competition. Yeah, yeah. Guys, if you want, you want to pass that around, let people have a look at it. This is for the photo competition. Live, if you can come up, please. All right. This. All right, guys, whoever's name gets chosen first, I know this is what you go for. All right. This is the first prize for the Lucky Door prize, is it? Yeah, it's a PVC float, reef, um, all around. This is the best all around that we've had in the last few years. So we the flag, the turkey, and the maximum pump. Um, make sure you don't pump it more than 28 psi. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to blow the compressor. You don't want to, yeah. <laughs> what about flood? <laughs> all right. Um, so this is for that float. It's around 50. Day 50. Day 50. No way. <laughs> hey, why did you do this? I just walked it around. Get out of here. Day 50. That's me. Hey, hey, we were mucking around as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't worry, I got your back. All right. All right. Second one, this is also a float, but this one's an inflatable float. This is good for, yeah, you can roll around light, very light. light. Sits in your bag properly, so. Awesome. This is one of my favorite floats. This is my favorite float, man. Yeah. That one's too bulky. Alright. 47, D47. Yeah, D47? Hey! Yeah. Congratulations. There you go. Yeah. Alright, and uh, we know we always need antifog. And a mask cleaner, so anti fog, mask cleaner. 37, D37. D37. Hey! Amy, this is a gift from our master to guys. Yeah, uh, look, man, we're going to give uh, Amy something. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> guys, um, a little uh, background on this uh, mechanism and gun. We designed this mechanism. If you've been to my house, in that shed there. And uh, this is a true story. So we sat there and it took us a long time. All these ideas with the hook here, because you know with Spiros we know what we want and, and stuff like that. Um, this is our design. If you see anyone else out there that has it. It's a tuna, rub out a tuna. The, the, this, was, this, this mech is our design. There is, a, there is someone who's ripped it. 
MVD. And it's MVD. Yeah. All right. Those of you who don't know who MVD is, MVD make for everyone. All the companies go there to make their mechanisms, or just the, all these, these little tiny things, you know. And uh, I, I don't want to disclose, but I'm going to let you know this is our design, not MVDs. They they ripped it, you know. And the, the owner Manoli is renowned for doing that, you know. You know, just a lesson for us, a lesson for us, and stuff like that. But you know, it doesn't matter. You know, we know. But we've got it now, anyway. So, but tell me, how was, how many, oh, there was a lot of entries, weren't there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, and how did you... Scrolling through. Scrolling through. So how did you go with the... Yeah. You know, um, the struggle, like, did you narrow it down really to... Up to the last minute, it was really, really difficult, scrolling through and everything. And can I announce it? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Okay, so... Pretty much up to the last minute, we were going through all the photos, all the photos on Instagram, Facebook, the ones that were submitted on the Triple SC WhatsApp group with the hashtag Triple SC comp, hashtag Hamaster. And then right when I thought I had found the winner, I get a notification that someone tagged Huntmaster in a post on Instagram with hashtag Triple SC competition, hashtag Huntmaster. I opened it up and it was probably the best photo that the whole judging panel had ever seen. So the whole judging panel was amazed at this photo. They were like, where did this even come from in the last minute, like the last two days or something? So I've got to say, this gun goes to Nick. Oh, no. 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 The photo wasn't of Nick. It was of Nick's wife diving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Good gonna, choice. That's an amazing <laughs> photo. So well Nick, this is your Congratulations, man. Yeah. Well done, well done, well done buddy. Hey, you thought you had a release that Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah, gun this is, is still unreleased. First one you so, uh, yeah. you're going to be the first person to uh, actually be used, but not the first uh, tester, uh, but the first. Uh, first to try uh, one. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Congratulations. So, uh, you got to report on release What is that? Can you tell us a bit about the mechanism? Yeah, yeah, we'll look. Alright, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. We wanted, when we were designing the handles, all right, because if you see all our guns, we've got every brand, yeah? Aim right, uh, Mandy subs, but everything had a flaw. And when we rig them to ourselves, every gun had a flaw, all right? So when we were designing, we just think, we want something that's gonna do everything, yeah? Okay, so we love our inverted roller guns. Now this can be converted to an inverted roller gun or a normal roller gun, all right? Okay, the first unique thing is this integrated hook. So who's, who's seen a roller gun? Yeah? So other brands wrap them around here. Or they'll have screw on parts where you, you know, that, that are screwed on, it's additional parts. You know what I mean? And they'll have them screwed on. We didn't want that. So we wanted to have a designer mold where it's all incorporated. So this, and this can handle up to five, 600 kilos of pressure. That's not normal plastic, it's carbon. So yeah. Carbon plastic. Yeah, yeah, so it's like we've used like a high-end carbon plastic. So, so that gun you can convert it to both the same? This area, yeah, so now you can do whatever. All right, so you've got your holes here. So I don't know if you've seen the, the, the video of where Red shoots the Marlin. The gun that he has has, I think, about six rubbers. Six rubbers, six rubbers and it's, that handle holds more, no problem. That little bit there will never snap off. Yeah, all right. So you got your holes here. Now, other companies, they have to, they, they put plugs and stuff here. It's an, it's an additional part that is screwed on. You know what I mean? So, and that's here, there. So, but now, you just run your line through and hook it straight onto your rubber. You know, so you, and this is a reverse mech. Reverse mech is a big thing that's in now. So, other mechs sit up here. So, we've got the reverse mech that's put in. And guys, this has been tested like 10 rubbers have been loaded onto this and it has not failed at 10 rubbers, you know? You, you, should, you should provide, like, you should use that as uh, part of the promotion because that can carry that weight. Right? Oh yeah, definitely, um, you know, like all the tests that we've, uh, we've done on it, you know? So they do have a inverted roller head, so Nick laid it down the track, we will yeah. convert this to an inverted Get roller, Get pop that off, and we put the roller back on, and you're good to go. All right, so, and the rubbers, now, 
rubbers are changed, they've gone with uh, one mil IU. So what one mil IU is, um, so when you look at the hole in the rubber, you know your speed gun rubber, you look at the hole in it, it's three mil. Okay, so what they've done is, they've gone with one mil. So that way now you've got more latex in there, which gives a bit more of a kick. So I'll just give you one sec. Big round of course for Ray and uh, the uh, Woods Pantry for letting us use this facility, man. Yeah, so, and uh, just really, uh, you know, like a lot of, like I said, a lot of times wanting to design that. It's a real thin profile, you know. Like your Rob Allen's is a bit better, so you're going to get it's going to be a bit more streamlined in the water, you know. Um, yeah, look, just the, the overall look of it as well is. Uh, is Do they come good. in different colours or just that? No, yeah, all the colours. I don't believe they come with the green, so that's the. Uh, so hey, the same colours as the suit. Same colours as the suit. suit. Yeah, and that's the same colour as your suit, Nick, eh? Yeah, same same colour as the suit. Yeah. So each gun comes with a colour of the suit. Yeah, yeah. Or every, every colour gun for every different size, size or just that's 110? Right? Like all different sizes. So that's uh, 55, 75 on the top. It's the. I prefer it on the bottom. Me personally, but uh, it's uh, if you see it's still it's got the you know, like the hunt shaft, how it locks up, it's not the same thing, man. So, but uh, look, something like that. Um, the prices will be released so once they're launched. Um, yeah. on Kroger, guys, the hunt will uh, give the, the club that we'll always get a discount from them, so uh, which is uh, the food's yeah. coming, it's gonna get picked yeah. up. Right? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, yeah, so, some big things come in, a lot of things coming out now, so, um, yeah, there you go, so, I mean, we've got everything now, we haven't released the price, no, not yet, we haven't released the price yet, and look, uh, guys, this is, the, the good thing about it, this is, these are guys that, uh, you know, like people, like just between us, is that a hunt master, we started in a asbestos shed in the backyard. You know what I mean? The story like that is. Uh, they still around. Huh? The, the, the asbestos shed is still there. I've covered it from the outside. The roof is still asbestos. You know? But look, humble beginnings. We're just like you guys. You know that we just want to do our own stuff. You know we. You know we want something that's ours, and at the same time. I mean, you all, you all have bought gear from everywhere and stuff, you know, and we know that the pricings and everything of things uh, can get, it can get, this sport can get expensive there, you know. Uh, I've got about five guns of my own. Three of them, are, I don't know where they are, there was someone I've went to, you know. It's just the way, yeah. you know, but you know, like, it, it can get costly, you know what I mean, buying gear and stuff like that, you know. You can never have enough of it, you know what I mean. So it's just good to see a company that sort of, uh, you know, we wanted to do something to say, you know, what reasonable price, you know, and it's a, a bunch of Aussie guys. <laughs> yeah, like, so, and so, so just a question on that. So will the prices of the hunt, like that gun, be uh, competitive against the other brands? Very like, competitive. But I've got the aim on. Yeah. Would that? Yeah. So the this, is, this that? is the aluminium. So when you start getting to the higher end, like what you got with the carbon, I'm not sure where they're at with the carbon. I think they were still, they're still practicing on a few molds and a few different companies that were trying out some carbon barrels. You know? uh, it would be definitely a lot more competitive than lots of that. You know? So, um, anyone who's got, if I've made a gun for anyone and you want to upgrade your mech, we've got the mech here. I've got some mechs here, you know, so we can look after you guys as well. Um, yeah, so, well, congratulations, Nick. Thanks, man. Thanks. Champion. Man. Uh, what's our one meter, Harry? From 1.1. 1.1. That's a good one. Like, one meter, 1.1 is a good size for It says 100. Yeah. And uh, you don't really want to roll that anymore. Most, most guys use uh, just standard. So, you know, sometimes they're using 90s. 
They got the inverted roller um, on the uh, normal roller. Uh, I don't think. Uh, Which roller are you using? No, they, they've got their own one. Carbon uh, fiber. Yeah, same thing. It's the carbon roller head. Uh, we've got a home. Come see the new one. The one day they carbon got. plastic. Carbon plastic, yeah. But yeah, that's the. But the normal standard roller, they're not doing. They haven't done the standard. Just roller. inverted. Yeah, just invert it. We're going to do, we'll give them soon. You're going to get them done? Oh, man, can't wait for those. But they'll be... Uh, uh, can we add a reel to that guy? Yes, you yeah, can. Okay. It's got a reel, you can also add it. It's got a GoPro mount. The GoPro mount is bad. It's just... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 it's sick. So it's you grab it, click it in, all right, and it sits. But then when you're not using it, just hold it down and it's out of the way. You know? So the GoPro mount. How does the reel attach? Is it like Aussie reels or just screw on? That's screw on. It's got a screw hole. Yeah, yeah, it's got a screw hole on it on the on the actual handle. On the handle. So you see this? Not on the the tube. No, nah, no, nah, it's on the handle. So it's, it's a bit more stronger that way, you know. Yeah. No, how many have you seen uh, like the guys in what's name? They like, they use a lot in uh, nail bikes. They use a lot of reels, and then I've seen one of video. He just turned it wrong. Came out, fish took all his reel, man. That was a good fish too. Uh, because fish. he didn't string it through the top. Yeah, as well, so yeah, he, he didn't do he it through the top. Through the, through the eye, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Down. yeah. So, again, uh, you know, we've thought of. We know. We've thought of everything for it, guys, you know what I mean? And we put a lot of uh, time into it, you know, and there's always room for improvement, you know. As you get through, you want to see things pick up, you know what I mean? But if you want to add the wheel, then you need to change the head. No, it's changed nothing. No, it attaches to the to the handle. It just attaches straight to the handle. Is it so a hard muscle? Yeah, it's a hard muscle. There's two holes and it screws into there. Okay. We'll look at it again. Because <laughs> 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 I want to see the GoPro. Now. Yeah. So we'll see. We organise a GoPro now for it. Yeah. Come across from here. Yeah. 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 So what is the current? What's the balance like? Where is it good Front heavy, yeah. back heavy, yeah. neutral? <laughs> How's the seat come? It, it, it comes down flat. It comes down flat. Oh, okay. uh, what I've been doing is with my ones, uh, they've been put together in the factory there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like now I've been putting foam. I've been trying to foam in all the mic guns. To balance it out? Yeah, to balance it out because I want when you have something around your shaft like this, you should be always in the way. Yeah, I'll show them again. To balance it, you shorten the shaft, bring it right. Then that's what the European See, that's what, yeah, but see, that's why it's got the reverse mechanism. It's a nut bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.